Hello everybody and all aboard Two Chats Choice. First day of rehearsals is over and at least we got the official 30 second snippets of the rehearsals on the official Eurovision channel and their Instagram stories. Of course the snippets are really short and only from one simple camera angle so there is very little to go with and it might look completely different on screen and with the whole three minutes. But it's enough to at least give my two cents about the stagings and whether the acts could improve their chances in my opinion. I also followed ESC United's live stream to hear him talk about the full performances, but I probably won't be able to do that tomorrow because I have to work. First, very quickly about the stage. I did think that the ribs in the background would be able to move up and down or something to bring more variety, but they seem to be fixed and only change in color. So I'm a little disappointed in that. And they are not using the pyrotechnic at this stage of the rehearsals, so there's still some elements coming up in the second rehearsal. But everything else does look nice and I guess it will look good on screen. So far, from the audience point of view that we get from the snippets, I'm missing the LED screen a little bit. I'm not sure if the audience gets enough out of the show compared to the viewers behind the screens. Now let's start with Azerbaijan. From what we could see, it looks really well. They don't just rely on the regular stage setting, but are bringing in these angular platforms that help create an atmosphere. To me, it all seems very well composed in regards to the styling and the setting, and I have to say, it's better than I thought it would be. They do use augmented reality elements, apparently, which we can't see yet through the snippet, so it might be good, it might be bad. I don't know. But so far, well done, and I'm excited to see more. Iceland. Meh. As much as I would love for Ari to qualify by, based on his voice and his personality, I don't think they did anything with the staging to improve the song. I will be enjoying the performance just to sing along with, but it does look very dated at the moment. I don't like his outfit at all and I don't like the fact the background singers are formed around him as if they were kind of worshipping him. So right now I think it has tightened its spot as a non-qualifier. Albania. Oh well, Albania, you're killing me. I love his performances in the pre-parties so much, because he looked so much more natural than at Festival de Genghis in Albania. Now he's back with a very strange jacket with studs and structure and a lot of different elements, so it's a strange mix between charity gala and rock concert. In my opinion, he should ditch the suit and go with something more natural. In the pre-parties he wore his black short shirts with the sleeves rolled back so you could see his tattoos, and I think that was the perfect mixture of looking kind of chic while still have some edge and without being so complicated. Now it doesn't fit together anymore, especially with the rest of the people on stage. I do like that there's a drummer and a guitarist on, on stage, but there are also two quite tacky background singers waving their arms in the Instagram snippet. But he still has the most incredible voice and the song is brilliant, so this might help him push push through. Some people say it's a simple staging because there's not much special effects, but I think there's still too much going on that distracts from him and the song. Belgium. Unfortunately, from the camera angle and the short snippet that is available, I cannot say anything about this. So far, I still don't get any specific vibes from it that made me understand the hype around it, but from how the performance is described on other blogs, it might be interesting, but it's impossible to tell right now. The Czech Republic. Finally he starts moving around and there seems to be also some choreography that includes his backpack so they give it reason to be there, which is good. I like the two colorful squares on each side that bring something very graphical and modern into it, but I'm not so sure about the breakdance elements of the dancers in front of them. Because there's always the danger that it feels like, hey look, we're young and cool, like Hillary Clinton dabbing. Especially with the nerdy schoolboy vibe, it might become a commercial for a new backpack for school. But overall it made a better impression to me than I thought it would, and I think the overall concept does make sense and fits together. If the sound level is done right so people can actually hear his mumbled words, then it might do well. Lithuania. We only get to see the end of the performance in the short snippet, so it's hard to judge it as a whole, but I feel like it works quite well. Walking on that bridge brings something very romantic into it that fits the song really well. So I'm positively surprised by the atmosphere at the moment. But of course, if the first two thirds of the song are boring, then it won't help. But it's actually the first time that I see a chance that it might qualify. Israel. You know that this is the performance I was waiting for the most to see what they do. And so far I have to say it's the performance I'm disappointed in the most. But that's because my expectations were incredibly high. 
So the first thing I noticed from the snippet is that it must be really focused on close-up camera shots because the stage looks very empty right now. She does have two shelves on, on stage filled with these Asian lucky golden cats that go like this. And I don't understand what's the point in that. I guess they wanted to have toys like Pokemon or Barbie or whatever, but of course they are all, tra they are all trademarked, so they can't use them. So maybe they chose those cats instead. But that's never a good idea to go with a substitute if you come to the original idea. I think they probably should have thought of something else completely at that point. Because those cats are not toys and they have a very specific meaning that doesn't have anything to do with the song. Based on the photographs of the performance, I do like the overall aesthetic though. I really hope that it works out better overall than in the small snippet. The real camera angles will change a lot of course, but being one of the big favorites this year, they really needed to live up to the expectations if they wanted to win. But of course it's just the first rehearsal and there are a lot more acts to come, so it's hard to compare at this point and it will probably feed a lot of the energy of the crowd in the live show. And it's one of those stagings, I guess, that can be tweaked to be on top again, but I don't know. Belarus. Okay, this will be more about the staging than the song. Belarus thought that if they can't have LEDs, they use every other weapon that is available. And it's all themed about roses. Real roses, fake roses, roses that get shot with a bow through Alexiev's hand. So much seems to be happening according to descriptions of the performance. And I would need to see this to actually judge whether it's good or bad. From the short snippet, I don't like his outfit choice. And if the effects aren't done right, it will all look cheap. But I'm kind of excited now. And I think it was the only option they had to be memorable enough between Israel and Estonia. And that they definitely achieved. Estonia. Apparently they did everything right for her performance. From what the people are saying, the effects on her dress are really well made and the camera angles work great. So I guess it's really classy and much more reliable than Israel. So it's back in my top three for now. And maybe could even go to, to first place. Vocally, by the way, all the countries today did really well as far as I can tell. Bulgaria. From what I've heard in the live streams, they are working a lot with the camera angles and split screens and close-ups and fast cuts, etc. Rather than actually doing something special on stage. So what we get to see from the snippet doesn't mean anything. But right now, I don't quite get the podium that they are standing on. And I, and I really don't like the, the woman's outfit. Acoustically everything sounds great and I can imagine that the song will be enhanced a lot by the visual build-up of these camera angles, so it will probably do well, but seeing it in a snippet from the audience point of view it's a little underwhelming. So those were all the songs of today's rehearsal session. There are still 10 songs coming tomorrow for semi-final one, but of the 9 songs so far, Iceland is the only clear non-qualifier for me and Estonia is the only obvious qualifier. Even Israel could be in danger, so everything is still open, even more than before, but again it's almost impossible to get a real impression of the material that we have. The only way to judge the performances truly is if you're in the press room in Lisbon, apparently. But I'm trying my best, and I will try to react to the rehearsals of tomorrow as well, but I do have to work, so I have to see if I can make it. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. For now, thank you so much for watching, and i see you soon. Bye!